This is a float type carburetor off of a Harbor Freight 6.5 horsepower Predator engine. It has no adjustment screws on it. Um, there's no uh, high speed adjustment screw. There's no uh, low speed mixture screw. The only adjustment on this carburetor is uh, right here there's an idle speed adjustment screw. Uh, the carburetor, I guess the manufacturer is RUI ING and then you got this uh, string of characters stamped here on the uh, carburetor body. I've never had any fuel run through this carburetor. This, this, this engine is straight from the store. Um, so I thought it would be an interesting video to uh, take this carburetor apart and record the float height. It should be exactly what the manufacturer recommends because uh, um, it's straight from the store. It's never been run so it, it, it should be the float height that was set by the uh, engine manufacturer. To get to the uh, carburetor float you need to remove the float ball. Uh, it's held on by a 10 millimeter bolt at the bottom here. Just remove the bolt and pull the float ball off and there's your uh, plastic bolt. This is the uh, choke uh, lever that just pops off but there's your uh, carburetor float. I'm going to uh, measure the float from, there's a gasket here, but there's this metal part right here, the base of this uh, carburetor. I'm going to uh, measure it from there to the uh, top here of the float. Um, I'm going to let the float settle like so, and then take my measurement. I, I lost, I misplaced my steel rule, so I'm going to be using a set of uh, 6 inch calipers, digital calipers and I'm going to do that using this tailpiece here on the caliper and I'm going to place that on the carburetor body and measure it from there to the top of the float and I get a reading of approximately the battery is about ready to die on this caliper so it's blinking um, it's 0.638 or 638 thousandths of an inch even though I gave you the uh, float height for this carburetor, um, it, it kind of won't do you any good because the, the float on this carburetor is not adjustable. It's a plastic float. Uh, if I move the uh, hinge pin here, um, I should go the other way. You know, you got the uh, inlet needle clipped in here. It's spring loaded. It keeps the float at a certain height and uh, you can't adjust it. So. Float adjustment is not something you need to worry about with this carburetor. Hope you found this video helpful and uh, thank you for watching.